All right, welcome back to tonight's feature story. You know, it's hard to remember that Facebook was once just a way for college kids to keep in touch. Well, now it's grown into something radically different and to mix reviews from its users. Jessica Formoso begins our look tonight at the changing face of Facebook. As of the first quarter of 2016, Facebook had 1.65 billion monthly active users. People use Facebook to stay connected with friends and family and also to keep up with what's going on in the world. Everything's on Facebook and Facebook is really um has made a concerted effort to keep people there by providing a lot more information beyond their personal stuff. Lance Ulanoff, chief correspondent for Mashable, says Facebook wants to have your world in one place. That's because it's valuable for them to keep people there all the time. Increasingly, people are learning about news events on Facebook, and that's something they've worked really hard on. And in fact, they're looking at changing our what we call our news feed, which is often filled with our friends' stuff, with more news. Making Facebook much more than just a social media network and more of a life network. Now on your newsfeed, you have live and 360 degree virtual reality videos, as well as news. Facebook has all these algorithms to, to decide what to show you, and it really depends on your own engagement with the material. What do you click on? What do you put reactions in? What used to just be likes, and now you can do a whole range of reactions. And soon, Yulanov says you will see a news ticker. So instead of just getting the news that's defined by you, you also get some news that's defined by the editors of Facebook who say, well, this is what's really happening in the world. So in addition to your news feed, this is the other stuff that's important. Is there room for this new Facebook to be what it used to be, a place where you chat with friends and family? Experts say Facebook is constantly changing. Just to be go back to just being a fun place for social interaction, I mean, I think you can still get that. Um, it's definitely still in there. It's still the majority of what's happening. It's just that right now everybody's talking about all the news and all the live video. But if you look at the majority of engagement and interaction on Facebook, it's still really personal stuff. It's really local stuff, community stuff. Some Facebook users aren't clicking like when it comes to the new Facebook. There's just so much junk you don't want to see and you just, just want to skip to the bits about your friends and your family. So you just fly right past it. They're giving out a bunch of useless information. And you don't like it? Don't. To be honest, I think it's trying to do a little bit too much. Yulanov says change is the only way Facebook can survive. They have to add new features, enhance it, and that is what it's doing. I'm Jessica Formoso, Fox 5 News. Thank you, Jessica. On we go, because Dan Grossman is here now, Vice President at VaynerMedia. Thanks for being here, Dan. Uh, Thanks for having we're looking me. Looking at all the changes, you follow this all the time. I mean, from what we're seeing, is this is this a good thing or what? How do you view it? Overall, I think there's a lot more avenues for people to mm. communicate, and Facebook is uh, enabling people to communicate in different ways. Mm -hmm. So, for example, video is becoming very prevalent on the yes, platform. Yes, it is. Um, so that enables people to express themselves more and be more creative. Well, you know, there are, there are some people who are saying, I don't like all of these changes. You know, there's too much on there. I really just want the easy stuff. I just want to communicate with my friends. What is this all doing? to social media in general? Um, so overall, social media across the board usage is way up. Mm. So Snapchat takes 25 minutes average per user per day. Facebook, the Facebook universe, which is Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger, not even including WhatsApp, which is another one-to-one right. -one messaging app that mm -hmm. they have, um, that's 50 minutes a day. So usage across the board is up. So despite people saying that they may not like these changes, they're actually using Facebook more and more every day. They are. Well, listen, Facebook's got 1.6 billion users. That's Indeed, a huge they number. Do. They're getting into the news business as well. A little criticism of that. They had a meeting you know, with some conservative groups. Yep. What do you think about that? Yeah, so overall, the uh, trending topics, which is the issue at Hand, right. um, is a little tiny box that's on the upper right hand corner that's only really legible if you're looking on your desktop computer. Okay. So overall that already is a small use case. Right. But then you take into account how they surface that news and it comes from an algorithm. And so there is possibly bias but unknown bias that's in that algorithm. Mm -hmm. um, but they have so many checks and balances in place to make sure that they're servicing yeah. the news that's right for the individual as opposed to Understood. what their agenda might be. Okay, looking at the future, what can we expect in the next year, two, five, ten years? What, what's going to be on there? Huh? Sure, so more ways of communicating. Um, more people will be joining. They're going to try and connect the third world. Um, and there will be more video. Video consumption is way up. Um, I'd look for virtual reality as well. So virtual they own reality, yeah. Oculus Rift. Uh, so they own Oculus. And then uh, Oculus uh, also powers Gear VR by Samsung. Mm. Um, and there's been a lot of viewership there. And then lastly, I'd say messaging. One-to-one -one messaging, whether it's Messenger or Facebook. Messenger has 900 million people right now. Uh, and WhatsApp. 
WhatsApp actually has over a billion. Wow, it's mind-boggling, Dan. Yeah. I mean, it's exciting in many ways, but it really is, is, is amazing that we're all you know, connected to this and what it's gonna turn into. Amazing it just eases stuff. communication. I know. Yeah. Dan Grossman, thank you so much for thank joining us tonight. Thank you very much, tonight, appreciate okay? it. Thank you.